Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial slash remake, I guess, of the 2 to 1 scale ATT. Um, one that a lot of people have been asking for, I think, and it's definitely been a long time coming. This build was uh, quite tricky to pull off. There's a lot of uh, fine angles, such as with the legs and how the body tapers up and everything. There is a seat in there for the cockpit, but there is no other interior for this one. Um, just due to space limitations, really, and I guess lack of references. Um, yeah, not much to say about it really, I thought I'd keep this intro brief so that we can just kick off with the build. Um, yeah, no, that's all from me really. Um, I guess the only other thing to say is I am going to try and make the new LATC model compatible with both the ATOT and the ATT so it can carry both hopefully. We'll uh, see how that works out. So anyway, let's kick off the build onto uh, the first few layers. Alright, the first thing we're going to do here is make some uh, temporary kind of lines, I guess, to mark out where the feet are going to go. And we're going to do the feet mostly in one take, I think, as well, so we'll get all that out of the way. But yeah, first of all, we want to mark out where they're going to go, and to do that, we're going to take a sponge block as our kind of temporary block. And um, of course, if you're in survival, you might... Can you even get sponge in survival? I don't know. I don't, I don't play survival that often, so I don't know, but <laughs> if you don't have access to this, this is just kind of one of those things that you look at it and you're like, that shouldn't be there on this uh, large grey tutorial area with the big black square. Yeah, sponge doesn't fit in. Um, so obviously you know to remove it when you're done with the build. That's kind of where, what I mean when I say temper blocks. Um, I just thought I'd explain because I don't think I ever have before. So that's what that is, um, and then obviously we remove that when we're done, but again, you can use anything you want. Uh, I often use walls as well, because I don't tend to use wool in builds anymore, because it burns. Um, so, yes, sponge is what I'm going to use, but again, up to you. Um, obviously, pick your ground where you want to start the build. I have this special tutorial area, so I'm going to use this, obviously. It'd be a bit of a waste not to. The green line represents the front of the build and the red line represents the back of the build. So obviously as I'm building you can see which kind of end of the vehicle I'm working on. Um, so I guess we'll start off. Three in the width like that. So obviously that's left of the build, that's the right. There's three in a line like that. And then skipping one, we, uh, we'll skip one and do three there. And we'll skip one and do three again. And we'll skip one and do three again. And that's on the back of the build on that red line. To the front, skip one, three, skip one, three, skip one, three. So it should be uh, symmetrical at the minute. We are going to skip three on the left of that horizontal set of sponge. And then do another set of three there. And again on the right, the same thing like that. Okay. And this is where the, uh, the middle feet are going to start. So that's all good. Coming to the front on the green line, that's three like that, and there's no gap, so remember that's three there, and that's going to make it essentially four in length with the one on each end, or three there, three here, like that, so just remember that. And then you're going to skip one, and this time we're going to do two, and two, and that's on the uh, width. So I think in total, obviously I, I do the gaps between the blocks so that it's kind of easy to, to see exactly how many... Um, well, let me explain better. It's more to, to kind of break up big lines. Like if I did that, you can't really tell me how many that is without counting. Um, whereas if it's like this, you can tell it's three sets of three separated by one. So that's why I do that. I thought I'd explain that as well. Um, so come to the back here. Obviously, we've done this three, 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 and then we're going to skip one this time and do three horizontal and then two and two so obviously it's very similar front to back the only difference is that on the front the feet are slightly closer to those middle feet that's why there's no gap between that and that whereas there is here um, but that is the marking out done so we are gonna uh, quickly grab the materials for the actual feet and then we'll be back in a second so there we go Alright, starting off the feet, you'll need stone, science record, stone bricks, polished andesite stairs, stone brick stairs, polished andesite slab, stone brick wall, iron bars, iron trap door, light grey banner, skeleton skull, and lever. Now, for this one in particular, or at least down at the feet, 
um, on the reference model I did use stone and andesite in some places kind of interchangeably they're very similar looking materials as you can see if I compare them down here um, for the tutorial model I might just use stone just to keep it a little bit simpler but then if you want to add the andesite in go for it just use half andesite half stone wherever I say the stone um, so that's just an option for you I guess take the iron bar to start with I'm going to do one there and then taking the stone bricks, that's just one. And then we're going to take the stone block and do a three by three, leaving that gap in the center like so. Stone bricks there, there, and there. And then iron bars here, here, and here like that. Taking the stone brick wall, you're just going to surround this bottom bit here like so. Okay. Taking the sign terracotta, that's going to be one, two, three, and four like that. And then with the stone bricks, just do one uh, there, 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 and there as well. And then a light gray banner on all four sides. One, two, three, and four. Taking the iron bars, that's one and two. One and two, one, two, one and two. And then with the polished andesite slab, that's gonna be one uh, just there there, there, and there. Okay. You want to take the iron trap door. That's one, two, three, four. And then with polished underside stairs, you're just going to circle this around like that. Finally, in the middle, just take a stone bricks like, this, uh, like so. And that's the middle foot done, um, which is good. We are going to go to the front now, obviously on the green line, taking uh, the stem brick wall to start with, and then iron bars on the left and right. And then stone block just there, and then cyan, cyan, stone block there and there, cyan, cyan, stone in the middle. And then stone brick wall one, two, three, iron bars on these ones. So the front foot is a bit smaller than the uh, one at the back there. Taking the stone bricks, one, two, three, four. Stone brick wall on each corner. And then on top, just use a, I guess another uh, stone block. Take the skeleton schools, <laughs> don't put them on your head, do you? Skeleton school, one there, two, uh, three, and four, just like that. Obviously, the, the toes don't connect here, which is a shame. I wish there was a way that I could have done this. I'm sure the creative of you um, could make it work. But it had to be smaller than these ones here. Um, so I couldn't use slabs, otherwise I would have. Um, but yeah, kind of works. Um, just don't look at it from above, I guess. Every other angle, it, it kind of does look like the connect. Um, so, yeah, oh well, it is what it is. Um, skeleton, skeleton skull, pull that away. Take the lever. One, two, three, and four. And just make sure they're all facing outwards uh, rather than facing that way. And you want to face those inwards. And then do a stem bricks there, just there like that. So that's facing towards the front of the build. Come to the back here. And we're going to do a, a very similar thing. Um, you can use the same color scheme. I think on the reference model it's a little bit different. Um, but I'm probably just going to use the same colors, I think. So stone brick wall, two of those, um, and then cyan on the corners like that, surrounded by stone. Um, and then again, so we'll just uh, do this a little bit faster. It's just a copy of what's on the other side that we've just done. Um, so yeah, stone bricks, there we go. One, two, three four one two one two and then ah one thing actually take the iron bars come back to this front foot a second just to add an iron bar there on each of those corners nearly uh, nearly forgot that there we go cool um, and then the levers one two th three and four and the stairs this time are actually going to be facing uh, Kind of that way 
So the opposite of that one over there. And there we go. And then the toes finally just to uh, finish that off. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and that's uh, all three feet on the left done. What we're going to do now is copy this over onto the right. I'm going to do it uh, off camera, I think. So it's just down this mirror line here. Everything that we've just done, just copy that over and we'll uh, move on to the legs. Um, I think later on in the build we'll do both sides, but because this is probably going to be listed as a regular um, difficulty build, it will be a case of copying over for the most part, just to save a bit of time so that it's not a you know, five hour tutorial for something that could take you know an hour. So yeah, copy what we've done over onto the other side and we will be back shortly. So, All right, so taking polished andesite stairs, smooth stone slab and iron trap door, come down to the uh, left and right of these middle feet here. Um, again, remember in red line is the back, um, just for reference. You want to do a polished andesite stair there and then an upside down one and one there as well like that. And the same again on this side, the stairs should face with the, uh, with the I guess, tall side facing inwards. And just like that again. On the back foot here, we're going to go to uh, this stone bricks there. And you essentially want to do one there and one like that. And then again, um, one there and like that. There we go. And then on the front one, you're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, this time it's going to be, I'll show you one second, there and there like that. And again, um, just there and again like that. So kind of that polished on the side stair should mirror the stone brick one from last layer. And remembering that one's the front. Now just to double check that this is all spaced apart correctly, um, you can do this as well. I'm going to take the temporary block. Uh, sponge actually will use use a sponge um, so you can do two sponge here a gap of one and two and just keep doing that with the gap of one and then two blocks um, until we get to the middle and then just do a singular one there and then again two 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 and just keep doing that and then finally, you should arrive here with the last set of two. So that's four sets of two on each side, um, which is what we've got. Um, coming to here, taking the smooth stone slabs, this is on the back leg, one and two there, both top half, and then an iron trap door. And then on the front side, there's just going to be two stone, uh, smooth stone slabs, sorry, just next to the stairs. So again, same thing over here, one, two, and one. And I'm not going to measure this across because it's uh, mirrored but yeah simple enough um, and yeah that's basically it for that layer um, so let's move on up to the next one right for this layer we are going to need polished andesite smooth stone polished andesite stairs smooth stone slab stone brick wall iron bars observer iron trap door and dark oak trap door okay so taking the polished andesite stairs to begin with um, obviously we've done the two kind of facing away from each other here and we're going to do the uh, kind of opposite there just like that and same again on this one this one and over here as well like that on the back leg so obviously looking at the red line here there is going to be a smooth stone block just there and there as well a smooth stone slab in the middle and a stone brick wall on that end there and again just like that over on this side, obviously you've done the, the two stairs facing each other like that. We're going to put a polished underside full block on that one and that one as well. And then a stairs actually is going to go facing that way and that way as well. A polished underside full block there and here. And then a smooth stone slab top half there and there. Finally on this front leg here, iron bars one and two. One and two. And that's the front legs done for this layer. Coming over to here, taking the observer, you're going to want to have it facing uh, kind of uh, that way. You want the, uh, the grey texture facing upwards like that. Um, and again, cool, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then there's a stone brick wall next to it. 
and then a dark oak trapdoor is going to go next to the stone brick wall and join up with it like that. And again, like so. And then on the back of that observer, there's just going to be a polished andesite full block. And that's going to do it for that layer. So again, let's move on up to the next one. Okay, so for the next one, uh, taking basically the same materials, so I don't think we need any others um, yet. Doing iron bars there and one here. So that's on the stone brick wall and then that first uh, smooth stone on the back leg, just like that. A uh, full smooth stone block there and there. And then we're going to take our polished on-site stairs. That's going to be one. And then you want to do one face in it. What I'm going to do actually is put a stone brick wall there and then do the upside down stair like that. Okay. And then again on this side. Um, in fact, before we move over to the other side, just add another upside down polished andesite stair. Um, so again, one there, one facing away from it. Stone brick wall, just there. And then this obviously goes like that. So that's the back leg for this layer done. Over to this uh, middle bit here. Polished andesite stair facing each other. Polished andesite stair upside down in the middle. And there we go. And then a dark oak trap door on top. Like that. We're also going to do another dark oak trap door there and then flip it upwards. And then again there, flip it upwards. Stone brick wall is going to go on the back of it there like that. And then with the iron bars, that's going to be one and two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So what we've done there is basically created that connector um, for the for the leg joint, I guess. Going to the front legs here now, and uh, taking the stone, uh, sorry, smooth stone. Um, just bear with me one second. Sorry about that jump cut there. Just had to uh, check where we start, which is going to be here with the uh, polished andesites there like that. And then the smooth stone there and there. Like so. Upside down polished andesites there. Two of those like that. And then with the iron bars, there's going to be one um, there and there. And then there and there as well. That's going to do it for this layer again. Um, let's move on up to the next one. So, there we go. Alright, so for this one, um, taking smooth stone polished andesite stairs, smooth stone slab. We just need basically these from the previous layer. Stone brick wall as well. We need polished black stone wall, deep slate tile slab, grey concrete, grey wall, grindstone and end rod as added materials. These up here I don't think we need for this layer. Um, and then the tempered block, we're actually going to start with that. And what we're going to do is come back to the first layer and I left these tempered blocks here um, for no particular reason, but we can use them. So we're going to add another one on top and just bring it up to the current layer where we finished off, which is uh, here pretty much apart from those trap doors, but I guess they don't really count. Coming up to the next one, we're essentially going to want to put a top half deep slate tile slab like that. Obviously that's a block above everything else, which is what you want because this is the new layer. And we're going to use this as our reference point. Um, so just make sure you have the deep slate tile slab top half there. Then just be careful with this bit, just because uh, if you mess it up, this up, it will uh, probably mess up the entire build. So you're going to want to do one on the front, which is towards the front legs, and then four on the back. So one, two, three, four. So again, just to clarify, one extra on the front from that middle line, yeah, and then four on the back. And then come into this last one that we placed towards the back of the build, do an extra one on the left and right. Take the grindstone, one and two. That's attached to the uh, bits we just added. And then end rod, we're going to want to add five of those. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You can uh, put these up here for now. I don't think we need them again on this layer. So there we go. Right, temporary block again. So obviously the end rods come out one block further than the slab. Taking the temporary block, do two of those, two of those there like that. And then on the back side, so where these three slabs are, there's going to be one, separated by one, separated by one again. Okay. And then on this uh, last separated one, do a gap of one, gap of one like that. You need to uh, pause this like here just to see the shape that's fine 
We're going to add an extra one just there and an extra one just there. For the stone brick walls, that's one and two, just like that. The polished black stone wall, one and two. And then stone brick wall, one, two, and then one extra here. So two, 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 and one extra there. Okay. All right, come back to this middle line here. Obviously, the center of that middle leg where we build the pillar up. Do a temper block there. Separate by one. Separate by one again. Just like that. There is a reason why I do the temporary blocks up here. Like, obviously, we're going to be building this bit of the leg. I could just say reference this part of the leg. But it's just so that we can keep track of... Um, Kind of the distance between things obviously if it doesn't line up then there's been a mistake made somewhere and obviously i don't want to do that in, in the uh, tutorial like i did in the uh, 2017 or 2019 millennium falcon which I, I i can never stop apologizing for because that was really bad <laughs> so yes you got the uh, sponge right next to the end rod don't mistake that for a five gap that's a three gap and then obviously one separate one separate one and then here we're going to do iron bars, three of those like that. Um, and then with the stone brick wall, that's going to be one and two, and one and two, like that. So one, two, three, two there, and two there, like so. Coming to the front side, taking the deep state tile slabs again, that's one, two, three, top half, like that. And then we want the grey wool and the grey concrete. We're going to do the grey wool first, three of those, and then three grey concrete. And then finally, grabbing that temporary block once more. From that grey concrete, come out by one, and just leave that singular block there. Add one to the left, separate by one. One to the right, separate by one, and again. So you should have five separated ones, which would make it, uh, I want to say, nine blocks in total, I think. Upside down stair there, there as well. A smooth stone block next to the stair. This is another polished andesite stair. This time it's going to be facing uh, that way, that way. Smooth stone block, smooth stone block, stair there, stair there as well. Finally, grabbing the uh, stone brick wall that's just on that block here, that block there. And that's going to do it for this layer. So we can probably get rid of a lot of these temporary blocks in a, in a, in a minute um, when we finish off the legs. Once we start kind of mapping out the uh, outline of the body, we can probably get rid of all of them. But yeah, that's going to be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. All right, for this one, you can just keep the same materials. Um, we will just add whatever we need um, as we go. I guess I'm kind of lazy. Um, polished andesite stairs coming to the middle of the bigger feet. Um, upside down stairs is one of... Uh, that middle one basically, the between the end stem brick wall and the iron bar, this middle stem brick wall here, upside down, stair like that. Uh, you want a light grey banner just to uh, make that transition a bit more flush like that. There we go. Uh, same again on this side, one and two. And then again, the banners go on it like that. We want to take our cyan terracotta, another darker material for the build. There we go. One and two like that. That's on top of the uh, iron trap door. Sorry, no, iron trap door. Iron bars that we placed before. Not sure why I called it that. There's a stone brick wall behind it, like that. And then two iron bars, like that. And then another stone brick wall on the end of that iron bar. Then we're going to take the polished andesite. One there, one there. Should leave you with that three gap in the middle, which is uh, what you want. And then stone brick wall on the left and right of that polished andesite. You can get rid of the tempered blocks down here. And probably get rid of these ones as well down there. I'll leave the rest for now. Um, so yeah, you've got two to here in the middle now. Um, taking the grey wall and the grey concrete. Start with the grey wall, that's going to be one and two on top of those end rods. And two again, and that's kind of overlapping onto that front stone brick wall there, which is what you want. With the sign terracotta, add one, two, and three. 
and that should just cover that grindstone up like that and then with your gray wool one two and then now we're going to take a new material this is going to be the deep slate tile stairs I'm going to do three of those upside down here like that and then also the same on the back here as well and then you want the deep slate tile slab and that's going to be three top half ones and again on this side we're going to do three top half ones like that okay so grab a deep slate tile full block now and that's going to go just uh, here and then a grey concrete on the left and right of it grey wool one two three one two three and then this is going to be uh, grey concrete grey concrete grey wool in the middle grey wool on the outside both sides and then grey concrete in the middle and then on the outside grey concrete and then on the inside uh, this one's up to you on the uh, model that I've done it's a block of netherite obviously if you're in survival you might not want to use that so use something else um, I'd say probably a polished deep slate would also work I am going to use netherite this time just so the material list is uh, is accurate but like I said, it's it's up to you if you want to use a different material for that. Um, so we can put that back up here now. Um, with the iron bars again, we are going to put one there and here, there and here like that. Remembering that's on the front side. Um, we want the sponge again, the temporary block uh, at this grey wall. One, two, one, two. And again, we're just using that as a reference to make sure the legs are going exactly where we need them to go, which they are so we can get rid of these shortly that's a uh, smooth stone block there uh, grey wool here and then smooth stone block there um, and then smooth stone slab just there like that and again one two three and one there um, come to the yeah we'll do the back legs as well actually take the sponge again one and then you're going to skip one should go on top of what we did before. This time, however, we're going to do one, two, and three extra on the back like that. And then skip one, and skip one there. And then this is a smooth stone block on either side. Stair there, stair there as well. Okay. Right, uh, grabbing the. Oh, there's like a. Uh, hang on. Come, come down to here as well. This uh, grey wool temporary block one, skip one, skip one again, one, two, three like that, and then to the left of it towards the back, cyan, and cyan again, and then a polished andesite stair. Essentially what that is is uh, part of the armour plates for the top half of the build that hang down a little bit, so obviously right now it's uh, not connected to anything but it will be in a future layer um yeah coming back to here now taking the stone brick walls we need the polished black stone walls as well that's two stone brick walls there two again black stone one goes in the middle and then there's also two top half smooth stone slabs the first one is there and the second one is there like that and again i think that's on the front half um a piece of armor uh, for the vehicle that's hanging there. You can get rid of these temporary blocks under here. You can get rid of uh, these ones down there, I'd say. And then you can get rid of these three. Um, you can get rid of the, the ones down at the bottom now as well. We don't really need them for anything. Um, so there we go. And the rest, obviously from this layer, just leave leave those ones for now because um, we'll use them as a point of reference um, but I think that's basically everything oh, one more one more piece of hanging armor um, come to the center block here skip one skip one again I'm gonna turn the block volume down after this layer as well it's really loud um, come out by one on either side so it should look like that by the way and then this is a top half polished andesite slab this time there and there like that okay um 
I'm just double checking that that's everything and I'm pretty sure it is. So let's move on to the next one. All right, for this one, um, taking the uh, deep slate tiles, we are going to go right to the middle here, down this center line where the middle leg is, um, and do one of each of those. Then this is going to be gray concrete, one, two, three, four. And then we want to take that netherite or, um, what did we say, uh, polished deep slate, I think was the other option. So either of those, whichever you want to do, um, one, two, three, and four like that. We're also going to add another set of grey concrete, one and two, this is on the back end, and then block of netherite once more, two of those. To this one here at the front, obviously we ended with these netherite blocks, we're going to take the uh, deep slate tile wall, and it's going to be one and two like that, netherite one and two, and then the deep slate tiles one and two, um, we want to do four grey concrete like that and then this is a grey wool on either side and a block of netherite again there or again alternate um, polished deep slate back to the rear end of the vehicle there's gonna be two grey wool three grey concrete in a line like that and then this is deep slate tiles on either side with a block of netherite in the middle Okay. Right. Um, I'm just double checking everything's in the right place. Uh, I think so. Right. So you want to take a skeleton skull now. Trust the uh, skeleton skulls that we always end up using, no matter what we are making. One and two of those there. I can't remember if I mentioned in the intro or not. Um, the underside on this one is like uber detail compared to the previous model. I really went all out with it. Um, so, you know, all the mixed materials and stuff like that. Just details that I never even noticed that were on the ATT. Um, right, taking the temporary block, you can get rid of, I guess, these ones here. But we are going to add some more. Again, it's just to, just to measure out that we're in the right place. So start with that grey wool, out by two, down by one, towards the front. Then we're going to put a smooth stone just uh, there and there as well. Polished andesite stairs on the left and right of it. As you can see, what we've done here is actually finish off that um, joint for the leg. Which you probably didn't even realize we were doing that, but we did, yeah. <laughs> Upside down stair there and there as well. And we are going to add a floating block there, separated by one from the bit we just did. And then this is going to be a stone brick wall here and here. And what we're actually going to do is take the iron bars as well on the left and right of that, like so. And then add another stone brick wall on the outside. We're actually going to take the uh, granite wall. And we're going to put that on the inside. One, two, like that. And then the stone brick wall on the outside again. Now we want, uh, which one is it? I can't remember. I think it's light gray terracotta. One and two like that. Adding a bit more color into this now, as you can see. Granite wall on the front, and then iron bars, one, two, one, two. And obviously that should center on that slab we uh, did last time. We want the dark oak fence gate. That's one just joining up to that uh, granite wall. And then with the end rods, one, two, and three. So what we've actually done there is making uh, or made the bottom ball turrets for the front of the uh, walker. Okay. Coming back down to here now, uh, we are going to take a... I'm going to put a few of these up here. Well, most of them, I guess. Um, we need the andesite normal block like that. We need the iron bars. I'm not really sure why I moved all those up there, to be honest. That's just going to uh, effort to move them back. So you need andesite, smooth stone slab, iron bars, and you also need clay, which is something that I've uh, started using. Because it's a nice, very bluish grey colour. Um, which is which is nice for Republic builds like this. 
So put the andesite just there on that uh, first smooth stone slab and then the iron bars and then two clay and then the top half smooth stone slab. And again, andesite, iron bars, two clay and then the smooth stone slab. Um, so that's the front end done for this layer. Um, let's move to the back here actually. Need the temporary block. I'm going to put uh, three there like that. Separate by one. And you can get rid of these from the previous layer. There we go. So three, one there. And then separate by one again. And this is going to be two. So it looks like this from, from above, just so you can pause that if you want to. Separate by one, separate by one there. And do that again. Like that. And then this is a top half smooth stain slab there and there as well. Coming back to this set of three we did, separate by one, separate by one again. This is a stone brick wall with an iron bars on the left and right. If I can place it, there we go. So just joining on to that leg joint that we made. There we go. Coming to this bit here now, we need a couple of new materials. Uh, we need a stone stairs, which is, uh, where is it? There it is, there we go. So you wanna have the stone stairs, I think it's facing uh, upside down that way, rather than rather than that way. Um, I might have to check actually, because I don't wanna get it wrong. So you might see a jump cut, one second. Okay, no, it is uh, uh, actually meant to be facing outwards like this, so two of those. Um, and then you want the andesite block just there. We need a stone block as well. Um, so the stone block's gonna go on the left facing towards the back. And again with the andesite. And on this side, there's gonna be stone bricks. So uh, grab these stone bricks, there we go. Two of those. Again, andesite, stone, andesite, two stone bricks like that. Wanna take the Standard stone slab now again another new material the inventory is going to be very squished for this uh, for this build So two top half stone slabs facing towards the back Three top half slabs on the front And then we want to take the iron trap door and just do uh, two of those here And then again with the slabs two and then two Okay, um, come to here, do a stone block on top of the cyan. I would have done um, tempered blocks to mark out where it is, but it's fine, I, I can see it. Smooth stone block there, there as well. And then this is just gonna be a polished andesite stair upside down there and there. All right, so that's basically everything. The last thing is just uh, a little bit here. Um, but the rest of the layer is, is done now. That's a top half, smooth stone slab, one and two. And then temporary block, one, separate by one like that. And again, you essentially want to do a stone brick wall there and there, here and here as well. And then iron bars next to it on both sides. And then taking the dark oak trap door next to that stone brick wall, one and two. And it should join up to the stem brick wall, one and two. Just like that. And I'm just double checking, but I think that's everything. Um, ah, one more thing, stem brick wall, just there and there. Okay, that's it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. Um, we're getting close to starting off the actual main bulk of the body, I guess. So. Right, for this one, uh, again, coming down to this middle line, um, we want to leave a gap of three in the middle, basically, and then taking the cyan terracotta, one there and one here. So again, just remembering to have that three gap. Um, add an extra one going outwards, just like that. You want to take the polished andesite stairs and do one just there like that, another one there, and there's going to be a sideways one, sideways one, and then once more, Sideways one like that, and again like so. 
and again, just like so. This is a stone bricks full block there and there. And then a dark oak trap door top half, just next to that stone bricks. You want to take a polished deep slate uh, slab. So many names to remember. It's annoying. One and two. Those are both top half. This is a full polished andesite block there, there as well. Um, polished andesite stairs one and two. Those are both uh, upside down. And then with the stone, sorry, not stone bricks, the cyan terracotta. One there, one again, and this time it's stone stairs. Um, one, oops, and oh, there, like that, and again, like that. So we're starting off those uh, big circle bits at the top, the big joints. So that's it for, uh, for the for the middle bit there. Taking the iron trap doors. Skip that andesite block, two iron trap doors there. Skip that stone brick block, three iron trap doors here. So like that. We want the stone slab, two of those and two of those, remembering that's the back half. And then on the front, there's gonna be three of them, just like that. Okay. Want the uh, stone bricks now. One is gonna go there, oops. Okay, there and there as well. Uh, gray concrete. One and two. And then with the polished underside stairs, that's gonna be one just there, and then one facing away from it. Again, like that. You want the smooth stone slab now? Go to this stair here facing towards the back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Skip one and do a cyan terracotta, that's going to be here, there as well. And then a polished andesite stair facing that way. So we're joining that up to the slab now, which is good. Iron bar is just going to go there, there as well. And then now we can come to uh, to here. I want to do a smooth stone block there. A clay block is going to go next to it. And then a stone brick block is going to go there. Upside down polished stair there. We'll do the same thing here. One, two, three. Stair like that. I know this build is not the most thrilling thing in the world, but you know, when it all comes together, it's going to look great. Get rid of these temporary blocks. Get rid of these ones as well. And you can get rid of those since we've joined that to the uh, to the body now, which is exciting. So you can see that looks uh, very nice. Obviously multiple joining points, which is one there, and then we're gonna add another one up here as well, which is the main joining point. This is more of like a piston almost. Um, all right, I've lost my place now because I started chatting. Um, all right, we'll do the darker bits on the body now. So grab the gray wall, the block of netherite, the deep slate tiles, and the gray concrete, and the, in fact, we don't need the cyan, that's fine. So, uh, where we've done this grey concrete here, we are going to want to put deep slate tiles 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, block of netherite there. And then block of netherite again, 1 and 2, and then uh, 1 and 2 here on top of the ones from before. Deep slate tiles there and there. We can skip these three. This is going to be block of netherite on top of all the ones we did before like that. Deep slate tile wall on top of the ones uh, we did before. And then this is deep slate tiles one and two. Gray concrete, one, two, three. One, two, three. Gray wall, one and two. Gray concrete, one like that, and then one again. To here now, this is a gray wall on the outside, gray concrete in the middle. Gray concrete on the outside, deep slate tiles in the middle. And then deep slate tiles on the outside, gray wall in the middle. Okay. We will do some uh, outside detailing on this bit here now, and then we will uh, actually start the kind of nose, I guess, of the ATT. Three walls there like that. Three here as well. 
I'm going to add three more walls. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. I want to take the grindstone. I'm going to add that just uh, on that grey concrete there and there as well, which is fine. Um, we want grey banners now. Uh, I am running out of room in my inventory as well, which is great. Grey banner there and there. And again, one and two. And then we're going to add them again. One, two, three, four. And put that away for now. We can get rid of the observer, I think, for now, because we only need it again later on in the build. Um, so we just save space by getting rid of it. Right, grab the smooth stone slab. Um, top half. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then normal stone slab in the middle. Four of those. Smooth stone slab in the middle like that. And then iron trap door one and two. Want to take that grey concrete again. We're going to put that uh, essentially just here, I think. So where that deep slate tile is in the middle, separate by one. And that's going to be the grey concrete there. And polished on site block on the outside of it. And then polished on site stairs, one there, and then an upside down one here. Like that. We are actually still kind of building legs here. So it goes up there as a joint, kind of tapers inwards to the uh, slightly bigger joint there. And then it kind of goes upwards and joins up around here. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. You want the stone bricks, um, adding those just one and two like that. Okay, one and two again. Um, where can we go from here? So taking the stone bricks once more. One, two. We want the andesite. One and two there like that. And that should join up with the uh, slabs that we did before. And then uh, taking the stone slabs. One there, top half. And then one and two. One, one, two. Yeah, the, uh, the underside of this is not very fun to build, I'll be honest with you, but, you know, we have to do it. And there's going to be a cyan there on both sides. And then this is a stone brick wall here and here. And with the clay, that's three. Three again. And then an iron bar is just there and there as well. Right, uh, last little bit is going to be a uh, stone brick wall just there you also want another one here so one two like that and then iron bars oh no <laughs> it's gone um yeah iron bars one there and one here i don't know why i don't know what that's leading up to but i guess we'll see actually i think that's part of a um piece of armor there with the polished underside stairs again one and two and coming back down to here we want the grindstone and on that grey concrete block one and two and then a stone brick wall just there there as well and I think I think that's everything and um, you can see we're making really good progress and you can get rid of um, some of these temporary blocks now I guess these across here, these, I might leave those there for now, um, but yeah, these ones, get rid of these, and those, there we go, cool, so yeah, um, I'm just double checking that's everything, which I think it is, so let's move on up to the next one, anytime now, yeah, okay. All right, let's go. All right, next layer up, uh, keeping a similar set of materials here. Um, we will need some red nether brick stuff, but we'll get that when we uh, when we get to it. So we've got this kind of like three by three area here, which is obviously in line with the middle leg. Um, we're using this as kind of like a central point. Um, so we're going to start this layer 
by just adding a stone brick there. Oops, that's a polished answer. Stone brick there and there, like that. And then an extra one just here and here. And then on this one, it's going to be a stone block, just like that. So again, it's just avoiding that three by three gap that we've made there. Um, add in the block of netherite one and two, one and two. And you're just going to do the netherite block on top of um, all four of these as well, like that. And then it's going to be another deep slate tile wall, just like that. And on the back side here, what we're going to do is add a grey concrete just there and there as well. Um, add one on the front end on top of the deep slate tiles from last layer. Um, and then you want to add the grey wall, one on one there. Remember, and this is on the front end. And then the deep slate tiles, uh, one and one. Uh, leave that there for now, come to the back, we will do um, two sets of grey wool there like so, and then grey concrete, and then this is deep slate tiles, two of those separate like that. Grey wool there, grey wool there, grey concrete in the middle, three tiles like that, three grey concrete, and then taking the grindstone which I appear to have lost now, um, you want to have three of those but we want them facing the other way. Um, so we're going to just skip ahead one, do three polished andesite, and then the three grindstones like that. Okay. Add a extra polished andesite there and there, and then two more on the uh, back side there as well. Okay. Alright, from there we want our uh, deep slate tile walls. We're going to do one and two. And again, one and two. And on the front end, one and two there. One and two there. With our grey concrete, we are going to add that just here. And another one is going to go just there. So they're kind of just hovering at the minute, but we will connect it. Add in a grindstone there. A grindstone here. And then again, one and two. Grindstone there. Grindstone there. Um, with the polished andesite stairs, we are going to do one upside down, one facing it like that. So there and there. And then one normal one there and one like that as well. So just like that. So essentially you should, and if you've done it in the right place, the uh, that should finish off the circle. Um, just there like that. I'm not sure what this bit is, but I guess we will we'll find out. Um, it's funny, I don't know when it's, you know, my own build. <laughs> That's a uh, top half trap door there, and then we are going to take the smooth stone slabs. One, two. And then with the polished underside stairs, just one there like that. And a normal one there. And then we're just going to mirror that, um, including the two slabs, like so. And also the iron trap door, that goes there. And then the stairs facing each other actually as well. Um, just like that. Alright. Same again on this side. I will try and do it a little bit quicker. Just because I'm conscious of time. Uh, so two there like that. Two there like that. I trap door. And that one goes there. Um, okay, next bit. I guess we want to take our iron bars. There's going to be two of them there. And then on this side, um, do two as well, like that. There we go. Take a grey banner, we'll get this out of the way, just going to do it on the netherite block. There we go. Uh, next up, God, there's a lot to do on this layer, this is a very busy looking layer. Um, come to here, I guess. We're on the left side currently. And again on this side, one, two, three. You want an andesite block there and there. Stone block there and there. And then an extra two stone blocks going outwards to make that three in total. Stone brick block here. So we're doing a lot of the filling in on this layer, um, on the back especially. Anything past this point is all filled in, which is um, going to be fun because filling is always like the best part of the build, really, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes. 
two signed terracotta are going to go uh, just there like that. We want the red nether bricks now. We'll get this out of the way. Um, so one and two of those like that. And then just do one, two, three. One, two, three. Stone brick block, stone brick block. And then the red nether brick wall. I've run out of room. Um, I guess we can throw away the end rod for now, but we'll need it again. So one there and there. And then another iron bar just to finish that off. On the front here, there's going to be stone brick walls. Um, <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Three of those, like that. And then with the uh, iron bars again. One, two, one, two, three. All right. Um, coming back to here, we need the gray materials just one more time. Um, one, two, gray concrete, and then gray wool, one and two, and then deep slate tiles, one and two. Okay, so you can see we've got the three by three gap here as well. Um, obviously, kind of like this one. If we trying to work out what bit to do next. Um, I think the front is mostly done. Mm. Let's go to the back now. Um, if we go to here, uh, we're going to go to where these two stairs are. Taking the smooth stone block. So these stairs here, one and two. One and two. And then smooth stone slab, two like that. Two again. This is a stone brick block just there on top of the one from before and also a iron bars sticking out of it like that with the stone brick wall one is going to go there just next to the, uh, the slabs and then two and three and then with the iron bars that's three again so one two three one two three um, ah, there it is. Right, next up, taking the cyan terracotta again. I need to do something about this space. Get rid of the uh, the sponge, actually, because I don't think we'll need it again. Yeah, uh, we can get rid of skeleton skulls as well for now, because um, we can just come back to those later when we need them again. Um, okay, sorry, back to <laughs> back to what we're doing. We need the cyan terracotta, and that's going to be uh, one there next to those smooth stone blocks, and then two stone blocks, two cyan blocks, and then this is going to be a stone bricks there, and then go inwards by one, like that. And then with the cyan, that's going to be one there, and then you're going to go inwards by three to make four in total. One, one, two, three. Do another cyan just there on that one, and there on that one. And then two andesite blocks. Like that. Okay, with the stone blocks now, one there and one there. We're going to take the andesite once more. That's there next to the stone bricks. And then with the stone stairs, we want to take those. There's going to be one, two, and three like that. And again, one, two, three. Um... There is a pattern on the underside here as well, which I'm trying to remember how it goes. I feel like it's uh, one there like that, and then corner it there, and then corner that, and then that joins up with that. Yeah, that looks right. So start with that one, I guess. Corner it. One there. Corner that one, and then there. You can get rid of these temporary blocks now. So you should have that pattern underneath with these stone stairs. Do a, um, a stone slab. You want to add that just uh, just there and here, and then stone stairs. You want to put this facing towards the back. So it should look like that. Okay. All right, we're almost done with this bit. <laughs> I know this layer's been uh, a lot trickier than the rest. Um, grabbing the iron bars, put that on the andesite on the inside and then stone brick wall next to that and then stone block times two andesite block times two and then this is a stone brick wall there 
and two iron bars, one and one. Okay, I uh, I think that's it for this layer actually. Um, so that's that's something. Yeah, that's like kind of your main um, body layer. I think there is another one where we fill in basically all this bit up here, um, and probably these bits here as well. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll get to that in a minute. But we are at like the the core of the body, and then after these layers are done, we will be moving upwards um, onto the uh, easier bits, I'd say. So yeah, that's going to do it. Um, yeah, well, I'll see you in the next layer, I guess. <laughs> right, okay, this one. Um, again, going down to this kind of core 3x3 three three gap here. I um, want to take our polished andesite stairs. One there, um, and one there. And then corner it times two. Like that. Again, same thing. Um, in the gaps, there's going to be two stone blocks there like that two there, and then a uh, cyan, one, two, three, one, two, three, go to the left and right, and then two and two, uh, would have been better if I'd done that right, <laughs> okay, and it's so a left, right, two, two, iron bars there and there, you want the uh, chiseled stone bricks now, a material I always struggle to say, but I got it right that time, so that's good. And um, that goes there, and then the light grey banner on the front of that, which I don't know why um, that is a chilled stone brick. There we go, I stuttered a little bit there, because that does get covered up, which is, um, no, whatever. It, mm, no, I don't think you can see it from any angle, so <laughs> you could probably just put a regular stone brick there, I guess. Um, <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Stonebrook wall. One, two. One, two. I think... So this is the middle layer now of that kind of round, kind of, I guess, shoulder joint for the ATT. So kind of halfway through it. Um, just thought I'd say. Polished deep state wall on top of the previous one. And that's fine. Um... We want our light grey carpet. I'm just going to use this and get rid of it afterwards because I don't think we need it again for a while. Um, but that is going to go one there, one there. And you can get rid of that now. Um, and then iron trap door, one on each side. You want the smooth stone slab. And that's, again, one on each side. Like that. And then the polished andesite stairs are all just going to uh, kind of round off like that. Okay. Um, coming back to the middle, add another block of netherite on top of the previous ones, same as before. Um, and then... I can't tell if that's a slab or a stairs. I think it's a slab. Um, we need deep slate tile slab, basically. Three of those there. Three of those here, three of those here, and you get the idea. There you go. It's like that. You want the uh, deep slate full block, or the deep slate tile, sorry. One, two, one, two. And then on this side, there's a one and two there. And remembering not to get turned around, because it can be quite confusing. Remembering to face the right direction when you're building. Um, don't accidentally build the back on the, on the front. Um, because I'm concerned that I'll do that, but I hope not. Do three walls there like that, and that basically finishes off uh, the grindstone connector sections there. I um, just checked the run time of the previous ATT, and that was about an hour and 20 minutes. This is probably going to be s not similar. It'll be about one hour 40, I think, ideally. Maybe two hours. There's, a, like I said, just so much more detail anyway, so... Uh, you're getting more bang for your book, I guess. Uh, Grey wool on top of those blocks. And then this is a deep slate tiles on each of those as well. Um, and that's fine. Um, on the front end, just do a grey wool on each of those. And then two grey concrete like that. Take the stone stairs. Um, and we are going to do... 
Uh, hang on one minute. Um, ah, okay, there's just two there on that one. Two walls on the front end. Because instead there's going to be two stairs like that. I guess it cuts into it very slightly. Okay. Um, okay, so after the stairs, you want to take the andesite, and that's going to go uh, just one there, one here. The cyan blocks, uh, grab those, one, two, and three, and then inwards by one, or towards the front, I guess, like that. There's a stone brick block here and there as well. Two more stone bricks on the front of the cyan. Two cyan there, two here. And then one, two, one, two, and then one, two, one, two. That's going to be an andesite there, andesite there. Stone block, one, two, one, one there. Andesite here, andesite there as well. Stone, stone again, like that. And then polished andesite, one, two, three, four. Red nether bricks, three, three again. Taking the polished andesite stairs. Uh, there we go. One, one there. You want to take your light gray banners, and that's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. Stone brick wall is going to go on that. Taking the polished andesite stairs once more, finishing off this door section. So do it uh, corner like that. Stone brick, stone brick. <laughs> I am bar going inwards. I'm sorry, this is a very complicated, but there you go. Light grey banner on the iron bar one. So just there. Let's uh, copy this over one and two. That goes there. Iron bar on the inside. Um, corner one, normal one, and then this is a stone brick wall, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so we're um, making good progress, I guess. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, cool. Uh, coming to the front now. I'm just going to pause quickly so you might see a jump cut because I just need to check something, but we'll be back in a second. Right, okay, we need a red nether brick slab. I'm going to do three of those, like that. Um, andesite just goes there next to the, uh, actually no, it's next to the full block, sorry, like that. Run out of room again. Uh, polished andesite goes there. And then taking the stone brick walls, that's going to be one, two, and three. Again, one, two, and three. You want the uh, iron bars one and one. And then on this one here, we're just going to use a birch fence gate. I'm going to use that once and then uh, get rid of it. So put the birch fence gate there, flip it, and then throw it away. Get the iron bar back. And you also need uh, green stained glass. That's going to go there. And we're also going to add two more iron bars on the outside here like that. So one, two, one, two. Um, so that's the front end done for this layer. Um, we've done all that bit. Yes, that's fine. We've done this bit. So we're up to here, basically. Um, I'm just out of room. Get rid of uh, Dark Oak Fence Gate. Get rid of the Grindstone. I don't think we need that again for a while. Um, I don't know what else we can get rid of. Maybe the maybe the polished Blackstone um, wall. I wish I'd not thrown them there. <laughs> um, okay, so do a upside down stair one and two like that. And then andesite. Um, and we'll also grab the... Why have I got two iron bars? That might be a reason for it. Um, andesite goes there and there as well. Then cyan. Then we want the stone bricks next to the cyan. And then we want stone, uh, there we go, stone 
andesite, stone, stone bricks, and then iron bars there. And then also add two more iron bars there like that. And we'll just uh, quickly copy that over so polished go, uh, sorry no, andesite goes there. Two upside down stairs, we need the andesite, cyan, stone brick, stone, andesite, stone, that and there. And then two more iron bars on this one. This is a cyan terracotta there as well by the way. And also a stone brick wall um, next to that andesite block there and there. Okay, take the stone stairs now. Come to the uh, cyan just here. And there's going to be one, two, and three upside down ones. Like that. Um, we want the cyan terracotta again just there. And then stone bricks one, two, three, one, two, three, cyan in the middle. Do three cyan in the middle, three again, three again. And then this is going to be seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One there, one there. Take the polished under side, one, two, three, one, two, three. Cyan there, cyan there. This is a stone block here. And here, so we've got a gap of two in the middle. You can fill that in if you want to, um, but it's not necessary. There's stone bricks here and there as well. And with the polish, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With your polished stairs again, do one, two, three, facing backwards. And we're almost done, don't worry, for this layer anyway. One, two, three, four, five, iron bars, one and two. And that is going to do it, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> still still a bit of a struggle, but it's uh, it's tapering inwards now. So, you know, it's only smaller every layer. You can see we're getting a nice side profile here. Um, yeah, it's going to look great. One of my favorite builds of this year, um, for definite. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it, like I said, for this layer. So, let's move on up to the next one. All right, so we are nearly done with the uh, the gray materials here. So I think there's a couple more layers of that now, um, and then we'll be done with those. So we can uh, get a bit of inventory space back. Um, again, using that center line as a base, uh, we are actually going to do a gap of five this time. Well, a length of five, I guess, in total. Start with the block of netherite, and you're just going to put that there and there, and then skip one and skip one on the left, and uh, do the same on the right. So one and one like that. There we go. Um, taking the, let's see, the deep slate tiles and the gray wool and the gray concrete. Just uh, need all of those again. Start with the deep slate tiles. That's going to be one um, there on each side. Uh, gray wool there and there. Uh, deep slate tiles again. And then this is a gray concrete. And then one more actually is going to go there. Gray concrete one and two like that. So uh, it extends a bit further forwards. Um, which you can see. Um, and then do a extra deep slate tiles just here, there as well, and grey concrete there and there. We are going to take the stone slab and we're going to do uh, top half ones, two, four, six. Two, four, six. Stone block, one and two. And then we're going to do an extra one just on that uh, stone brick wall from last layer, like that. Speaking of stone brick walls, um, grab a stone brick wall, put that there, there as well, and then it's going to be cyan terracotta here, and there, and then a stone bricks, so just like that. Um, I'll do the the right hand side first because it'll be easy to place this. Um, start with the stone and the site on the right. This is a stone on the right, stone bricks on the left, stone bricks on the right, cyan on the left. And then just uh, copy that over onto this side. Um, there we go, almost done. There we are. Um, all right, stone bricks. We need that. You're gonna do one, then a stone, then a stone bricks, and again. And then this is a smooth stone slab. 
and then an iron trap door as well um, just there again one two stone stone brick take the stone brick wall that's two of those here two again I'm gonna take the stone block put that just on the uh, that block there basically and then the polished and side stairs should now cover up all them gaps which is uh, which is good uh, you can see the back area is fully fully shut up now uh, polished under site there and one there as well and then three sign in the middle going down the center line here there's going to be a stone a polished under site slab and then another one of those uh, trap doors you need to put an iron bars there there and there like that and then a stone brick wall one two three four in the very middle there's going to be a polished andesite like that and then taking the uh, dark oak fence gate and the end rods we will do the back ball turrets so that's one and two with the uh, fence gates and then with the end rod it's going to be three like that and again two Three. There we go. Um, I should have kept that to be fair because we do the uh, front ball turrets on this one uh, as well. So uh, coming back down to here, we're going to take the smooth stone slabs, do one and two. Like that. We need the uh, polished deep slate stairs. That's one, two. You want to do a stone block there. Uh, polished on the left and right and polished andesite stairs on both of those then this is going to be a polished andesite stairs upside down there and there with a cyan terracotta in the middle and then you need the stone stairs and that's one and two of those so again one two polished andesite stairs facing each other cyan in the middle stone there polished one two and then the polished andes uh, <laughs> andesite stairs one and two there we go getting uh, getting quite close to uh, top of these now which is good so that's it for the back half for this layer again um, moving to the front we will start just here with the andesite on each side stone next to it and then taking the sign terracotta, that's one, two, three, one, two. Like that. Stone, andesite, andesite. Stone bricks is just going to go there, hovering um, in the air. Cyan, cyan, andesite, uh, stone bricks. Do a polished andesite just next to the normal one and we're also going to do a uh, polished andesite there facing forwards like that so it should leave just like a little little gap here stone block just there and there as well andesite block andesite block and then stone block one and two like that polished andesite there there and then corner that one you want to take the stone brick walls, do one and two, leave a gap of one, one and two. Then you want andesite walls, and again two like that. Another green stained glass um, up there, you want the dark oak uh, fence gate. These are the control uh, handles kind of for the uh, for the driver, so that's there like that. Um, you want to take the spruce stairs we can use this and then get rid of it once we've uh, done that's going to go there um, and a brown carpet just there as well and um, also do a polished andesite block just there as well right stone brick wall and um, one goes just there and here you want to take the iron bars one there 
and one just here as well. Like that. Diorite wall, oh, sorry, granite wall. <laughs> one and two, one and two. And then the, uh, the, the block, the light gray terracotta. Two of those, and you get the idea, we're building the ball turrets now. One, um, dark oak fence gate, and two, throw that away. And then end rods, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Okay, making uh, really good progress here. Um, just a little bit of uh, detail to do on the outside now, so just uh, grab the iron bars and the stone brick walls. We will start with a stone brick wall um, just there, one and two, and then iron bars there, one and two. So just like that. Two more iron bars here. Stone brick walls times two, and the two iron bars. And then light grey banner, two like that. Same again, uh, two, one, two there, one, two here. And then the, there we go, cool. And uh, after that, that is um, pretty much everything. Well, I say pretty much, it, it is everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, uh, just giving it a double check, a visual a glance, and that does appear to be everything. So let's move on up to the next one. Again, it will be a smaller layer than last time, and that's how it's gonna you know, keep going. So, all right, onto that. All right, this one. Uh, first things first, before we start off, just go back to here and put another iron bar, um, just just there and there as well. Um, it was like this on my reference model, but it just looks better with, with that. Um, the taper works better, so I have changed that um, after the fact, so yeah. Um, getting your kind of grey materials out, I guess. Um, you want the deep slate tiles, uh, grey concrete, grey wool, and the block of netherite. Um, and then next layer we can get rid of uh, these ones we've done the bit on the next layer. Um, one block of netherite on top of the ones from before. And then to the left we're going to do one and one. On the right we're going to do one and one. And then on the right again, one and one. Um, but we're not going to do an extra set on the left because uh, this taper carries on up and cuts across it, so yeah. Um, there is going to be a grey concrete there though, and there as well. Uh, grey wool, grey concrete again. And then this one is deep slate tiles. And you can just put all those up here for now. Um, grab the grey banners, one, two, three and four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll just grab the uh, the stone materials back. Um, so grab the like a stone slab and a smooth stone slab. I seem to have lost the standard stone slab somewhere along the line. So uh, there we go. I um, still don't have room for this banner to go anywhere though. Um, I think. Actually, yeah, you can get rid of the granite wall and the light grey terracotta. I don't think we need them again. Um, so that'll save you some space there. All of these, though, I feel like we, we will need at some point. Um, okay, there we go. Grab the stone stairs. Make sure you have the polished underside stairs as well. Um, we're going to start with a stone stair there and there. And then we want the andesite block in the middle. And then we want polished stair left and right. And then this time, it's going to be a polished andesite stair like that. To just leave a little uh, indent, I guess. And again, same thing. Just like that. And that finishes off the legs. So that's, um, yeah, really cool. Uh, come back to here, we want the cyan terracotta. That's one just there. There as well. Stone bricks next to it. And then two cyan terracotta next to that. There we go. Uh, stone brick wall, just going to be one there and one there. That's a stone block, one and two. Two stone brick walls here, two again. This is going to be a stone bricks, stone, I'm just going to move that across actually. And then an andesite there, so stone bricks, stone, andesite. 
polished stair facing inwards, like that. Smooth stone slab next to that. Uh, smooth stone, there we go. And then a iron trap door next to that. Okay. With the polished stairs again, that's going to be one and two like that. And again, one and two. Um, we need the underside. No, wait, sorry. Hang on. Let me readjust the uh, view here. There we go. Stone, cyan, stone bricks. Like that. Um, this is a polished underside there and there. Polished face in it. Polished face in it. Iron trap door goes here. That's a uh, smooth stone slab just there. Andesite full block, stone bricks, stone. Um, we also need a cyan there and there, and then a andesite block there and there. Add a iron bar here and there as well. And finally, to finish off those rear ball turrets, just a polished andesite slab on the top of both of those uh, polished andesite blocks. Okay. Coming to the front end, uh, we need a stone block just here, and then a andesite. This is a stone brick wall. And again, same thing, uh, it's a stone there, andesite, and they've done the wall already. Um, grab the uh, stone, uh, no, we've done that already, actually. Great, yeah, polished andesite, um, one there, andesite stone. Uh, stone bricks. Two stone brick walls. Uh, again, andesite. Uh, polished, sorry. And then normal andesite, stone bricks, and then the walls. Um, stone, andesite, stone, andesite. And then we're going to do a 2x6 with the stone, so 2, 2, 2. Sorry, 2x3, two not 2x6. There we go. So just like that, leaving a 3 gap in the middle. Two stone bricks. Two underside, two stone bricks. With the stone again, one, two, gap of one, one, two. You want the uh, stone slab and the smooth stone slab. There's going to be two stone ones here, a smooth stone one goes there to cover that gap, like that. Two light grey banners, two again. I didn't mention this by the way, but this model in particular is the uh, one seen on. Geonosis, I think. Um, so it's not as colourful as the Clone Wars model, but you can easily add colours on the top, and uh, I think there's some extra on the front as well, um, and maybe on the legs. I think the top half is um, is red on the Clone Wars model. I know the uh, the last ATT I did um, in 2 to 1 in 2019 was um, actually the Clone Wars model, uh, based on that one anyway. So. Polished andesite slab on top of the um, light grey terracotta. <clears throat> and then a stone brick wall there and there. You want the uh, polished deep slate wall, and you're going to do three of those. Three of those as well on the side. And then andesite wall, one on two. Um, and then when it comes to the green canopy, um, again, that's something that's more specific to the Geonosis model um, in episode two. Um, I think after after that it did appear with a more uh, transparent, typical uh, colour cockpit. Might be wrong though, correct me if I am. Um, and I, I think it's just due to lighting as well that the canopy is green on Genosis, but I just wanted to uh, make it look as close as I could. So, uh, Yeah, sorry, red another brick wall on the side of that and then the uh, green glass in the middle. And that's uh, going to finish that layer off for us. So. Yes, like I said, on the next one, uh, we are going to finish off this uh, darker section in the middle, which is basically the, uh, the joining bit between the two uh, parts of the ATTE and where all the uh, bits connect to. I was just um, re-watching the video for the 2019 model, and I, again, I am just uh, <laughs> sort of amazed how different it is, because um, that one was definitely a lot more freestyle, I think, whereas I've tried to be very accurate with this one. Um... Yeah, cool. Uh, on to the next layer. Oh wait, no, sorry, one last thing. Uh, don't go yet. <laughs> um, we need a stone block there, 
polished. And then a red nether brick slab is going to go here. I forgot quite a bit, as you can see. And then we need a brown banner, and we can just put that there and then get rid of it. And that's the seat completed. As you can see, it's nice and, uh, nice and fluid. Yeah, um, on to the next one. Alright, on this one, we're actually going to start at the front with the green stained glass. Do one of those. Red nether brick wall on either side. And then two more of the green glass panes. Like that. Um, I think you can get rid of that now and the green stained glass. We can always get it back if we need it again, but I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, stone brick wall, one, two. Andesite walls. Um, actually, no, it's polished deep slate walls first. Two of those on each side. Um, you want to take polished andesite. We're just going to put that on the second deep slate wall there. And then taking our iron trap door. That's going to be four top half ones. So one, two, three. And then four. Just to start off the roof of the cockpit there. Um, add an extra three polished andesite. We also want to take our smooth stone. So you've got the, the four polished andesite in a row there. And then one, two, left and right. Add four stone brick walls. Just like that. Put a stone left and right, andesite in the middle, and then three stone bricks, three stone bricks. Sign terracotta there and there. This is going to be two stone here, one there. So two, one. Grabbing that clay back that we used earlier. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, ah. No. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, I made a mistake. That's it. Video's got to be restarted now. <laughs> yeah, no. Two underside. Two underside there. Um, this is a stone block. One and two. And then a top half smooth stone slab there and there. Two more smooth stone slabs there. And then these are normal stone slabs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get the iron trap door, and that's going to be three. And three again. Right. Um, again, grabbing those grey materials, we'll um, finish these off now. We'll do the four blocks, and then there's a couple of uh, extra things in a minute as well. Um, we also need the netherite block. There we go. So the netherite block's going to start one, two. In fact, it's a set of three wide, so like that. One and two. Um, grey concrete in the middle. Deep slate tiles on the outside. Grey wool on the inside. Netherite one and two. Um, actually make it three this time. Grey wool in the middle. Grey concrete on the outside. Three. Netherite again. Uh, three grey concrete. One there, a block of netherite on either side. This is grey concrete one and two, grey wall in the middle. And then finally, grey concrete there, deep slate tiles, and grey wool just like that. You can see that takes you up to there. Um, so yeah, you can, I think, get rid of these now. Um, might need maybe the grey concrete for the turret, but we'll cross that bridge, you know. Grab the polished blackstone stairs, and we're going to put them one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Levers now, just to round this off, kind of one, two, three, and one, two, three, like that. Okay, um, taking your stone bricks, that's one and two. Cyan Terracotta, one and two. Stone block here. And then polished andesite slab top half, one, two next to that stone block. And again, two. Remembering that's on the back half. Stone, one extra here. You want to do a polished andesite stair just there like that, covering up that stone brick wall. 
and another one just uh, just there. A smooth stone slab and an iron trap door next to that as well. There we go. Taking the stone block, that is one next to the smooth stone slab. Stair, smooth stone slab, iron trap door. Again, stone, stair, slab, trap door. Uh, next bit, you want to take the cyan. You should have a gap of uh, five here, I think. One, two, uh, yeah, five. So it's cyan there, cyan there, polished, and then cyan in the middle. Two more polished there, two more polished here. Cyan there and there. Polished underside stairs facing outwards. And again, same thing there. Take a stone brick wall, and you're going to put that just here. Smooth stone slabs, one and two, one and two. That finishes off that, um, or mostly finishes it off. The uh, it's kind of like a ridge area that um, joins up to these ball turrets on the back. That's what this is. Very difficult part to build um, when I first made the model, if I'm honest. That's the back half done for this layer, and we we're up probably one more layer, I think, maybe until this top bit's done. Oh, sorry, back bit is done. Coming to the front half now. Um, no, wait, we've done the front half. That's that's good. I thought we had the front half to go, but we've already done it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. All right, okay, coming to the front here. Uh, you want to take the red nether brick wall. Two, three, like that. One, two, three. Uh, you want the red nether brick full block. Three of those. Um, three polished andesite and three stone brick walls on each side, like that. That finishes off the cockpit pretty much, so um, you want to take your smooth stone slab now. One, two, and three. And with the smooth stone, make a cross shape with stone brick walls on all four sides, like that. Right, smooth stone slab. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the site on the left there with a stone block. And then stone bricks, one, two, one, two. And the site in the middle. Take the iron trap doors. That's going to be. Uh... In fact, now, wait, before you do that, grab the polished and the site stair and just do one facing inwards, one facing inwards, and then two iron trap doors like that. Uh, you also want three smooth stone slabs top half. And that's uh, that's it for the front on this layer. Very simple. You want uh, polished black stone buttons now. Three of those here, three of those here, three of those there. All right. Um, do a top half smooth stone slab in the middle, just here like that. And then you want to make it five in width. Polished there. Um, Two like that basically and same again I'm just kind of hovering at the minute you want the light gray carpet that's uh, one and two one and two smooth stone slab next to the stairs and two iron trap doors there and there there is a, a hole here so I'm, I'm guessing I missed some blocks from the last layer or something um, and I'm just going to check that real quick. You might see a jump cut. I apologize. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. This is very, <laughs> very embarrassing. There actually was no blocks under that in the original model. So I just put two stone blocks under there. Um, that's a, a bit of a goof, isn't it? Um, but yeah, that's that's fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Polished andesite, one and two, one and two. And then the clay block, three of those, three of those. Um, smooth stone slab, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then three to join that up. And you want stone slabs uh, in that gap. Taking the polished andesite slabs now, that's going to be two uh, there, two there, and then iron trap door, one and two. And that does it for the back. Um, 
So I think that's the final layer for the back section as well. So that's done. Yay! And uh, obviously we'll continue upwards with the with the turret now. So let's uh, move on to that. All right, final section. Uh, very exciting. Grabbing the light grey carpet. That's one, two, three, four, five. There was a, a just a slight bit extra on this back bit. I did. I lied. Not intentionally, but whatever. Um, seven of the smooth stone slabs, and then with the iron trap doors, that's uh, seven as well. Just to finish off the actual main body. I mean, if you don't want the turret, there you go. That's the ATT. But we do. We do want the turret. That's like half of the, the point of it. Um, put a polished underside there, surrounded by the polished underside stairs. Take a dark oak trap door. That's one and two. And then on the back half here, smooth stone slab, one, two, three. You want to take a polished uh, black stone stair now. Um, grabbing that. That's going to go just there. Followed by a dark oak trap door. You kind of want to put one there for now. And then one on the back. Delete that first one and replace it with a light grey banner. There we go. Okay, um, taking the polished andesite again, one there, so skipping one from the seat, uh, two, two stone blocks, and then this is going to be one of the, uh, I can say it, come on, chiseled stone bricks, there we are, throw that away, um, I don't think we need that anymore, get the skeleton skull, it's going to go on the left and right of it. I'm going to take your polished underside slabs now and grab that. We're going to start here and do one, two, three, four. One on the back and then one, two, three, four. You want your block of netherite back um, just briefly. There we go. And we're going to do two of those. Two of those are again deep slate, uh, polished, sorry, polished deep slate, yeah. Uh, it would also work. Uh, you want to take the ladders, one and two, one and two, throw that away. Um, again with the polished andesite, two of those. And then this is going to be, uh, you can either use furnace or um, any, any block with, I'll show you one second, uh, with that side texture. I think there's furnace and yeah these two also have it so a dispenser or a dropper. Um, you can use any of, of, of those because uh, it's just the side texture we need. I'll just use dispenser I guess um, like that. And then after that taking a birch sign. Obviously a load of new materials for the turret here because um, well I don't know why but I'm sure there was a good reason for it. <laughs> yeah, so like that, you want to take your smooth stone slabs and, and we're going to do one and two under those uh, dispensers and then the third one. Red nether brick full block, just there. You want to take a stone button. That's one and two, just add a bit of texture on top. Uh, grabbing the polished andesite slab again, that's going to be a top half one there and there. We are going to take the polished andesite stairs and do one uh, facing backwards there and there. Add four standard ones, so one, two, three, four like that. And again, one, two, three, four. This is going to be a smooth stone block just there. And I guess you could maybe do a couple more smooth stone blocks. Just bring them up to uh, to there for now. Leave it there actually. Uh, so just before the uh, chiseled stone brick, we want to do a uh, observer now. And we're going to put that just there. So just in front of the uh, driver's seat or the uh, gunner's seat. Sorry. Birch trap door on the side of it. Flip it down. Birch trap door on the side of it. Flip it down. I didn't like that. I don't know why I did that. That was uh, scary. <laughs> Iron trap door on top. This is a light grey carpet. 
just there. Another polished underside slab there and there. So you can see what we've got so far. This is uh, looking nice. Iron trap door. Um, one further back, actually. There we go. And then a polished underside stair. Do another stair here like that with a light grey carpet on top of it. And then we want the uh, light grey banners. And that's going to go on the side of it there and there as well. I just need to check what blocks in here and I'm uh, just going to check on the main model so you might see a jump cut. Okay, so it's just a uh, polished underside block. There we go. We want the grindstone there. Uh, and that's just going to go there. And you want an end rod to join onto it. So that's that. Throw that away. Um, throw the banner away, actually. You don't need that anymore. Right, so we are... We're close now, we just need the actual barrel of the uh, of the weapon. I'm just uh, double checking, I've got everything before this point there. Um, which I think, I think I do. That's that's good. I want the crimson trap door just to go on top here. Um, you can have it facing either way. I mean, on my reference it's sideways, so I'm going to have it like that. You want to grab the grey concrete now. Um, and we're going to do two of those on the front like that. And then the black stone wall, one there. Um, and you can get rid of all these materials, you don't need them anymore. You want the dark oak fence gate, the end rod. Uh, you also want polished black stone button. And that's fine, I think that's all of them. Dark oak fence gate there. Um, two end rods, a dark oak fence gate here. One more polished blackstone wall, grey concrete, one and two. Polished blackstone button, top, side, bottom, other side. And if you want to, you can add a item frame on the very front to represent the barrel of the weapon. Um, but no, that's, that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the ATTE done. Um, I'm just making sure I've put everything on there, but it looks like I have, so that's fine. Um, I guess we can add a few extra details here and there. Um, I thought about doing this a couple of times, and I think in a few previous videos from a while ago, I, I have done this, where afterwards you can just like litter it with buttons and stuff like that, um, things that would just be a pain in the actual tutorial. I'm not going to put any buttons on the outside here, but I am going to put them on uh, these grey concrete bits on the inside um, on whichever sides you can place them so I've got top side and other side on that one top side bottom on that one um, and then it's same on this one at the front bottom uh, side and top and there should be another one uh, yeah there we go so that's side and top um, I don't know what happened there, that was crazy. Um, and then again, obviously, on the other side, do the same thing. Um, yeah, there's just so much going on with this thing, it's a crazy build. Um, definitely one of the most detailed ones that I've done in a, a long while. Um, I can't find the other one. Oh, here it is. The fact that I'm actually getting lost in the underside just because of the amount of detail is, uh, it does say something. Um, again, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this in, in the intro, but I will um, try and remember to uh, put an image in the uh, intro or, or uh, in the description of, of the reference model I used because it, it is really awesome and I want to give credit for it. Um, but yeah, that is it's going to be everything. Um, let's stick the shaders on, do a quick post build showcase, and then we will be done. I can get to editing this because I'm uh, kind of dragging out the uh, outro of this on it. <laughs> Alright. Wow, that's bright. Don't look at it yet. Uh, we'll go time 3000. Uh, no, let's do... See, that's more like Geonosis lighting. Uh, this side would be the best one. Yeah, that's nice. Um... Wow, yeah, that's bright. <laughs> so yes, that's the new ATT uh, model. Looks, you know, just really, really cool. Um, 
definitely one for the history books, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I do really like this. Um, yeah, it's cool. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please check out the links in the description if you want to look at supporting the channel in any way. Uh, even just, you know, looking at the social medias helps because um, obviously that helps more people find me. So, yeah, we'll do the LATI at some point soon, the gunship one, to go along with this. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to make the Clone Wars model, remember, just uh, look at some references and add red bits where necessary. Um, there's probably a Republic logo on there somewhere as well, but, um, yeah, anyway, I will see you later. Have a great day, and goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.